Thank you for staying with us. Now it's Thursday and time to move on to our tech discussion. Now today we're looking at something quite interesting. You really need to pay attention to this one. Using technology to improve security for your business and also your person. Zita Agunobi is our guest today, a corporate lawyer with over 16 years of experience in due diligence and managing corporate exposure to liabilities. It's great to have you. You're welcome. Pleasure. Now the first question, my producer even asked the question, how is it so much that a lawyer who is uh, as vastly experienced as you are is talking tech this morning? How, <laughs> how so? How did you move from law to tech? Was tech always there? Um, yes, absolutely. So um, who else does due diligence better than a lawyer? Mm. Um, I Verify is a due diligence platform mm. um, that enables businesses, enables users to access verified and proven identity. So they are able to secure their businesses better. They are able to know who, who really are they dealing with. So you need, um, the likes of the KYC, the KYV, that's know your customer, know your vendor. So the customer due diligence, the enhanced due diligence, that's what um, I verify represents. So how did you, what, what was the need you decided to meet as a, you know, as a getting into tech? tech? Um, I verify is a story. Mm. Uh, our innovation is a story, a story that was birthed from our experiences on the legal journey. Mm. Um, I, I had journaled about 257 personal experiences mm. bordering on KYC, bordering on onboarding crisis, identity mix, um, data fraud, mm. and all of those. Can you break this down a little bit so that the layman there can understand okay. what exactly were the challenges that you met? Okay, so for example, uh, my sister recruits um, a, a domestic employee mm. who leaves 48 hours after resumption in her house with all her jewelries, and the domestic employee and all of the data associated with her could not be traced to any, any place. Okay. They were non-existent, uh, they were not known. Mm. She was not known in the addresses she provided. She was not known with all the references and guarantors that were associated with her. And that was it. Till today, every jury of my sister that she had went down the drain. I also had some personal cases where my friend's investment, we, we, um, stock investment was also diverted to uh, some other person cloned her account with her name, with everything about her, and was able to divert her dividends uh, in her name and, oh, and wow. was able to cash it out. Mm. And so those were real cases that I was involved in. Legally, followed it straight from, from start to finish with the prosecution and all of that. And, you know, at a, at a point I said to myself, what is going on? Why is it, that, is it that you don't have an institution that sort of gives you an idea into who this person is. Who yes, getting to know who this person is. Do we have a database that you, that it, so because a domestic help, for instance, like the situation you mentioned, can I go and check on the domestic, uh, on the help and see maybe her biometrics or something? Is there a database that somebody can access in this case, case scenario? So prior to iVerify, no. Okay. But with the birth of iVerify, yes. You are able to verify who you're dealing with. You're able to associate um, the ID validation, put a, a few things across, like the record match, the data cross-referencing, and you're able to build one single identity for this particular person holistically, not just relying on the digital ID that has been provided, but also matching the digital ID with every other information that is associated with that person to give that person an I verify unique identity. So now this is this is something. Now we've had cases that had to do with fraud and a lot of this, you know, um, especially due to the kind of reputation that we have as Nigerians, you know, outside the country and all of that. With such cases and all of that, P putting together, collating a database has always has been quite a problem. How have you been able to get that database that you are talking about? Partnerships, okay. collaboration. Mm. So currently, I verify operates in Nigeria in mm. Ghana, in Kenya, in South Africa, in Uganda. Mm. And these are done through partnerships with government, partnership with the non-government establishment, and all the authorities where these databases are domiciled. So mm. you are able to access them via our API. Mm. Within 20 seconds, you are able to get the information that you need. About any person you are trying to employ or any business you are trying to get into? Any person, right? so you have the KYC, which is know your customer or know your employee or know who you're dealing with. Then you mm. have the KYV, that's know your vendor, that covers know your business, know your supplier, know your company. That's, that's a different bucket on its own. So, mm. But anything that has to do with relationship, who you're dealing with, you want to know that person, you want to prove that identity, 
that's what iVerify does for you. Wow, this is identity fraud. That's something that we see quite a lot of people using and all of that. So you, you mentioned the case of your sister. What, can, you, can you give me a, a solution that you have provided through what you do? So it's called um, a holistic identity. I, I verify unique identity. Okay. So for in my, the, the likes of the domestic employee, for instance, mm. when a domestic employee comes to you and you collect all of the data that you have collected, we don't get involved in it. You put. So you don't. You don't have a database of those employ of those people that. No, we don't. Them. Okay, you don't. Yes, okay. except those that have been verified. Okay. okay. All right. So you collect those data, then you make it available to iVerify. Say, check this person out. These are the information that we have mm. uh, that has been presented. We want to find out if these information are consistent with what's on record. So we mm. go ahead and do the due diligence with our partners and all the stakeholders involved, and we're able to give you a holistic picture of who you're dealing with. You're able to make better decision, better Wonderful. hiring decision Wonderful. based on merit uh, rather than the strength of one's ability, but on the merit of one's identity. All right, thank you so much. This is quite um, enlightening and I hope that people out there can uh, you know, get to understand that yes, we can use technology to, you know, to ensure that we verify so that things we can always, if something does happen, we can always get back to With it. With a click. Well done, well thank done. Wishing you the best. Thank you very right. much. Okay, so that's it. We'll be able to pick something then. I'll head over to the kitchen. MM, so still uh -huh. there. What's up? What are you guys doing?